First at 10, two stabbings outside of St. Charles County laundromat unveiling a man who entered the country illegally. This is First Alert 4 at 10. I'm Samantha Jones. Corey has the evening off. According to investigators, Barrera Amaya stabbed two people outside Highlander Laundry in O'Fallon, Missouri. He's facing four charges tonight, including assault. And police say this guy has been on Homeland Security's radar for a while. John Kipper spoke to police and an immigration attorney about the case. John joins us live from the O'Fallon Police Department to break all of this down for us tonight. John. Yeah, Sam, as you mentioned, we're here at O'Fallon Police Department as on Sunday they were able to quickly track down the suspects suspect who went into a laundromat parking lot and stabbed two different people. But here's the thing. They weren't the only law enforcement agency in the entire country who was also trying to find that suspect. Homeland Security has had some dealings with them prior and they had a detainer on him. That's what federal immigration authorities told O'Fallon police this week after they arrested Jose Barrera Amaya on Sunday. Sergeant Brian Haar says Homeland Security told police Barrera Amaya entered the states in 2021 through Eagle Pass, Texas. No matter who's committing the crime, um, whether they be illegal or, or here legally, um, the O'Fallon, Missouri Police Department is going to take it seriously. According to court documents, Barrera Amaya was in the Highlander laundromat with a neighbor who was also the victim. Eventually, he hit the victim inside the business and chased them into a parking lot where he stabbed them in the back. Another person came to their aid. They were stabbed too. Then police say they quickly picked him up in his car. Our uh, detective bureau took over the investigation and obtained a confession. Har says Homeland Security told them Barrera Maya had a detainer from ICE. Immigration attorney Javad Kazali says this means if he were ever released from jail, Barrera Maya would then go into federal custody. This person would be a priority for the Biden administration and likely if this person were ever to be bonded out, it would be handed over to ICE, put into removal proceedings. Data consistently shows undocumented immigrants are convicted of less crimes than American citizens. According to a Northwestern University study this year, undocumented immigrants are 60% less likely to be in prison in the U.S. than American citizens. Ghazali also argues America suffers from a crime problem, not as much an immigration problem. This isn't something that is nearly as problematic as the amount of crime that is done by U.S. citizens. Now, as for the victims in the case, we don't know much about them other than the fact that police say they suffered non-life threatening injuries and were released from the hospital. And also Barrera Amaya is currently sitting in jail and he has a $500,000 bond. Back over to you, Sam. And John, we wanted to ask you about the suspect tonight. We know he's facing those assault charges here locally. Do we know anything about his record back mm -hmm. in Honduras? Is he facing any issues with crimes there? Well, still trying to figure some of that out, but according to court documents, witnesses of the crime told police, and of course these are people that may know him well, says that he could have committed homicides in Honduras, and we're not even exactly sure if he's from there. So we're trying to parse a lot of this out, so we did reach out to ICE and have yet to hear back. So reporting in O'Fallon, John Kipper, First Alert 4. A lot of moving parts to still sort through there, John. Thank you. New here.